Excel Prime here back with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at Dark Side. This is going to be a review on DC Multiverse Gold Label Collection, Dark Side. And if you're new around here, please remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and share the video. With that being said, let's take a closer look at this awesome figure. And here we have Dark Side. And one thing I want to point out is with the box. McFarlane Gold Label Collection. This is my very first Gold Label figure from DC McFarlane Toys, and it looks absolutely amazing. This is the dark side that I wanted. I waited patiently. I had an opportunity multiple times to get the, the one that comes without the chest piece. So this is the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, which is also a Target exclusive. So patience has paid off. So here is DC Multiverse Dark Side Armored Justice League. Let's get a close-up of Darkseid's head. Nice face sculpt. Looks really, really good. The armor looks fantastic overall with that nice metallic looking blue. Looks fantastic. On the side of the box, this is the big box by the way. It's one of those mega figures, so this is going to run about for the US uh, $39.99. This is Darkseid Armored, Justice League. Looks fantastic. On the back of the box, we've got 22 moving parts articulation just to clarify there the artwork right there looks fantastic and that's what you're going to get as your actual card that comes with this figure it looks fantastic if this is a scene in the movie it looks great here are the rest of the figures from the Snyder Cut movie it's fantastic and one other thing I want to point out for this figure and it is besides the big giant box here is the UPC, if, you're, if you need this, the Armored SDCC variant. So, there's that. So, that's it for the box. Let's get him out here and see how badass he really is. And here we have Darkseid out of the box, and he did a phenomenal job with the, the likeness from the movie to bring him in toy form for a collector like me and everybody else. He looks fantastic. The blue chest piece is as follows. Looks great. I think I like this version a hell of a lot better than that shirtless one. The back of the figure is pretty cool. Nice blue metallic. Soft. So this is like soft rubbery like feeling to it. This figure does have some weight to it. He is very very tall and I'm just going to bring in two figures real quick for a size comparison and here is Abomination from Marvel Select he did a pretty good job measuring up to him the other figure I want to just show off would just be a Batman figure just to give an idea how much shorter he would be and finally the largest figure they made for a Build-A-Figure so far well besides the Merciless I don't have yet this guy Bane looks fantastic so overall the figures look right next to him and everything like that he is as follows articulation his arm can do a full 360 his arm can go out like this straight now there is wrist articulation here it is on a ball joint so you can turn his wrist do whatever you need to do there straight now butterfly joint right here it is on a ball joint you can do a full 360 you can break his neck for whatever reason why you would want to do that, um, be my guest on that. He can bend down, look up, so he can go, his good articulation like that is as follows. The leg can kick out to about here, maybe a little bit more than that, yeah, right there. Knees are really, really stiff, but you can get 90 degree bend, straighten that leg out. You can do the splits, pretty darn close. The toe articulation, ankle articulation. And there's a reason why I'm holding the figure the way I am. And that is because, unfortunately for my figure, his arm falls off. Unfortunately, due to this pose, 
that when you get him out of the box and everything, his arm is behind him. Well, unfortunately what that does, it puts a lot of stress on that peg while the arm is bent this way. And yeah. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to glue his arm to his shoulder with the you know the peg in the inside, what I'm trying to explain. So this was the most anticipated figure from the DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys line. This was it. Um, would his arm falling off like that easily? I mean, just get, you know, whatever. Um, that's a big disappointment. So we're going to just pose him just like that. And I was just going to think that uh, Superman just uh, used the old uh, heat vision and took his arm off kind of thing. And we'll just maybe paint some red blood there. And we're going to have him holding his hand right here because, oh wait, well, just, yeah. The other way, the other way. Yeah. Hold his thumb up. Yeah. Just like that. So, yeah, you can do this. Yeah, he's going to be sitting there crying his eyes out with the heat vision arm. So, yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, put it back on. Popped right off. Hot water doesn't work. Already tried it. Could go with the hair dryer method, but I'm uh, just going to just skip that part. So, the weapon looks great. We're just going to move him back. And yes, there's not going to be much editing in this video because he decided to take a crap with the arm. Maybe. Who knows? Just going to talk right off the cuff because I like to do that sometimes. And But this weapon looks great. It's fantastic. Nice molded detail is as follows. Nice staff. I'm going to put it in this hand because I have confidence in this arm. I'm pretty sure I put it in the other arm. It's just going to fall right off because it can't hold any weight. But you can do this. Yep. And just stick this right in anybody's face. It's pretty cool and could be annoying as anything. The other thing is as follows. This soft rubbery. This is actually rubber. There's this one little, little piece right there that is holding this whole big ass heavy thing, his butt flap, on here. That is sad. That is that is really a bad choice by the people that made this figure. This is okay. This is on there. The rest of the uh, boot coverings and everything like that are good. But uh, yeah, they... Uh, missed the mark on this figure unfortunately at least the one I have received and I cannot go to another target to get another one so I'm just gonna glue his arm and be done with it so any uh, any thoughts leave them in the comments if uh, if you happen to have this figure I'd let a uh, problem with this figure let me know kind of curious if if I was the only one or or is this a bad QC issue across the board hopefully not because that'd be very disappointing for something that looks really good so, that's going to be it for the review. Thank you for watching. And here we have the iconic DC card. Great artwork. On the back, Snyder Cut. Real name. Now you're going to try to pronounce that. The Ultimate Oppressor, Dark Side. So basically, he's the big bad of DC. He has the Omega Beams, you know, deadly ray things from his eyes, you know, it's pretty straightforward there. He basically seeks to eliminate free will from the universe. That That's mainly his big thing, and just, he has conquered a lot of worlds, and now he's finally set his sight on Earth for the search for the anti-life equation. So, summed it all up from there, and he's from Apocalypse. Easy enough.